So, here at Moppet Labs, we're once again engaging in a little bit of science. Well, I say once again, actually very rarely engage in science, uh, in the sense of con performing nice controlled experiments like this. Uh, but I have here two solutions, one of nickel sulphate and one of copper sulphate. And I have equal amounts, and both of them have been dissolved in boiling water. And I have here a belt buckle, which has been soaking in the sodium hydroxide solution for the last couple of days. And what I'm going to do is put one half in the nickel sulfate solution, and the other half in the copper sulfate solution, and hopefully one of these two will be the active ingredient that colours uh, pewter black in the, old, in the old process that we used. Used a proprietary chemical from a company that I'm not going to name, You'll recognize yourself when you see me ripping off. But they used an all-purpose chemical that was actually for blackening steel and copper and lots of other things. I only want the chemical that actually goes into blackening the pewter, so that's why I'm going to just drop this into one each. I'm going to go one in there. Through the magic of editing, 15 minutes are just about to fly by. One transition wipe, I presume, if I can find some sort of mobile app that will do that. 15 minutes have passed, and the verdict is... absolutely nothing has happened. So, we're going to flip it over and plonk the other end in the copper sulphate, and hope that that actually does its job. Uh, because if it doesn't, I've just used the two active chemicals um, that I know from are in this stuff from the data sheet, and neither of them's had any effect. Uh, I suppose the third option will be to try to mix the two chemicals, and we'll have to see. Oh, I think actually. Oh, that definitely looks looks like um, it's making some progress already, but we'll see in another fifteen minutes' time. Well, that's another fifteen minutes past, and let's fish this out, and we can see we've got a definite color change there. So that is the copper sulfate, which is the one that I already had in the workshop. The nickel sulfate is the one that I ordered in. So really, I could have done this experiment a week ago uh, without ever having bought the nickel sulfate. I'm sure the nickel sulfate will come in handy for something. God only knows what.